On behalf of the National Council of the Boy Scouts of America, I hereby convene this court of honor for the purpose of presenting the Eagle Scout badge to Jordan Orban. Our senior patrol leader, Devin Ness. <laughs> Please rise for the presentation of the color for the Scouts. Your attention. Color guard, advance. Please tell me the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Color guard, post and colors. Color guard, salute. Two. Please follow the grant and the scout of all. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Here. Here now we Scouts, Scouters, and Friends, my name is Grant Orbeck, and I will be your Master of Ceremonies for this evening. I would like to welcome you all to this Eagle Court of Honor. This is an occasion for pride and joy, as well as time for serious reflection. The Eagle is the highest recognition in that scouting offers to Scouts. At this time, I ask that Connor de Maria come up forward to light the candles to begin our ceremony. Devin will explain what each of the 12 candles represents in the Scout Law. We shall light the 12 candles as symbols for each of the scout for each part of the scout law. There are 12 parts, each is an important foundation in the building of strong character. The scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave. Clean and lighting the three candles up on top represents how the scout oath, how in the scout oath, the young scout promises upon his honor to do his best, to do his God, to do his duty, to, first to God and his country, second to other people by helping them at all times, and third to himself. By keeping himself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. You see how the light from the sphere of scouting is now beginning to grow and become brighter. I would also like to ask that all Eagle Scouts in the audience come up forward and come up to sit in the Eagle's nest. Now I would like to call Jordan up. And now I would like to introduce Mr. Davis, who will deliver the Eagle Charge. Jordan, repeat it after me. I reaffirm my allegiance. I reaffirm my allegiance to the three promises of the Scout Oath. To the three promises of the Scout Oath. I thoughtfully recognize and take upon myself. I thoughtfully recognize and take, take upon myself the obligations and responsibilities of the rank of Eagle Scout. The obligations and responsibilities of the rank of Eagle Scout. On my honor. On my honor. I will do my best. I will do my best to make my training an example. To make my training an example. My rank and my influence count strongly. My rank and my influence count strongly. For better scouting. For better scouting. And for better citizenship. And for better citizenship. In my troop. 
in my troop, and in my community, and in my community, and in my contacts with other people, and in my contacts with other people. To this, I pledge my sacred honor. To this, I pledge my sacred honor. By the authority invested in me by the National Court of Honor of the Boy Scouts of America, it is my privilege and pleasure to pronounce you an Eagle Scout. May the oath you have taken remain graven in your heart always. Thank you. Congratulations on behalf of Troop 186. As a small token of our pride in you, it is our honor to present you this special neckerchief. Please wear this with pride in our program and with pride in your personal achievement. Thank you. Just like your past progress along the trail, you did not go it alone. Your fellow patrol and troop members and friends assisted you greatly. At this time, your mother and your father and your grandmother are going to join you. Over here. <laughs> oh, here, I'm on the camera. <laughs> Jordan, please present your mother with the mother pin. I will proudly wear the father pin. Please pin your grandmother with her grandmother pin. Jen will pin this. This is for your mentor to deliver during your speech. Mm -hmm. Say hi to the camera. Say <laughs> hi to the crowd. <laughs> and now Mr. DeMuri will come forward with a special presentation as his parents and grandparents are dead. Congratulations, Jordan, on earning your uh, eagle rank. On behalf of Troop 186, we'd like to present you with two gifts. Years ago, Uncle D would give out an engraved buck knife to scouts that earned eagle rank and, have, and that had a special ceremony for it. It was a tradition that was important to him, and we would like to carry that on. Um, Mr. Canant has been a silent uh, help with engraving the knives for the troop. 
He purchased the tools and spent many hours of his own time doing this for the troop over the past few years. Unfortunately, Mr. Kinnant couldn't make it tonight. Um, so I am going to present you with the buck knife. Please share it. There you are. And please uh, share it with the crowd. <laughs> you can do it later tonight. Also, uh, Mrs. Jesse has worked hard to put together a folder with congratulatory letters. Um, everyone feel free to take a look at Mrs. Desi's hard work. That's for you. Congratulations, you. Jordan. And now Jordan's mother would like to address the audience. here as a representative of Jordan Stanley and the three emotions I want to express are pride, humility, and gratitude. First, on pride. Many people are proud of you this evening, Jordan. Your dad and I, your brother, your grandparents, your scout leaders, and many other friends and family members, including those watching from far away. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> Hold it there. You're good. Keep going. I hope Look at your that you are also very proud of yourself, knowing and having confidence that you've done a, a good job, and this is a job well done. You've done the job through your own hard work. Your scouting journey has taken 12 years from the time you started as a tiger cub right here in Tucson, and you've achieved so much during that time. Most of your achievements have taken hard work and you are justified in taking pride in a job well done. And along with pride should come a sense of humility. I am very aware that none of your achievements in scouting would have come without the support of your family, your scout leaders, and your fellow scouts. I look around this room at your family and friends and at your scouting leaders, and I'm thankful for all that they have contributed to your success you would not be here without them. And they deserve your appreciation along with mine. I hope that as you succeed in the future, you always remember to thank those who have helped you along the way. Pride tempered with humility will serve you well in life. And all this leads me to gratitude. I am so grateful that whether here in Arizona or back in Virginia, scouting organizations have welcomed you and our family and through inclusive attitudes and activities guided you to this achievement. I am grateful both to you, Jordan, and to your leaders and peers for creating a COVID safe, socially distanced Eagle project that took advantage of your skills and strengths while still meeting the strict criteria BSA has for Eagle projects. Pride, humility, and gratitude. Jordan, your dad and I are so proud of you Humble to realize all the support it has taken for you to reach this point, and so grateful to each person who has guided and assisted you along the way. Great job, kid. We love you. Thank you. And Jordan has asked to make a few remarks of his own. Greetings. My name is Jordan Orbeck, and I am honored to be an Eagle Scout. But it would have not come without a lot of time, effort, and help from others who have provided a significant hand in allowing me to make such an amazing achievement. I remember joining PAC 186 in first grade. I did not have much of an idea on how scouting worked at the time, but my den leader guided the way towards my future scouting years until I moved to the East Coast for four years. I joined another pack up there and got acquainted pretty quickly and had a new but still excellent set of leaders that helped me prepare for life in a BSA troop. I then became part of a large troop where it was difficult to get things done, but I was helped throughout and made it to the rank of second class while I was in that troop. Afterwards, I moved back to Tucson and joined you all in troop 186. There, I found perhaps my most significant scout leaders to help me through the advanced ranks of scouting. They have taught merit badges that I needed for further advancement. 
They have shown me how to learn the important scout skills for rank advancements and the useful applications in real life. They also helped the scouts in my troop and created a productive session during the coronavirus lockdown, teaching many useful scout skills and helping scouts in their mission to complete some of the hardest required merit badges to earn. And very importantly, the scout leaders helped me with my pandemic challenge and quite unusual Eagle project, suggesting ideas and providing assistance by using equipment and tools that I could not get my hands on, but they did have, thus allowing me to be more thrifty. Speaking of, these leaders have taught me the real life scenarios where the scout law is used and have taught me to use those principles when making decisions and interacting with others. For all of these reasons, I give a huge shout out to all of my senior scout leaders throughout my life who have guided me through the life of scouting. The most significant one of which has been Mr. Dean Maria, who has been here for very long and has known me for ever since I joined the troop and has always thought I could do it and has helped in camp outs and it's always been very special. So thank you. And I present this mentor pin to you. Okay. There you go. Thank you, George. No problem. <laughs> In addition to that, I also want to thank my parents for providing a good path of scouting for me to follow. Even when I really did not want to go to a scout meeting, as that has happened many times, you still <laughs> believe that I could go far in scouting, and you guys helped me to get there. You have helped me go further in advancement and have been the drivers for many of the scouting events I have gone to. Your support has allowed me to push through and go for the quest to the rank of Eagle. I could not have made Eagle, especially with all the lockdown restrictions, had it not been you guys. Thank you very much. I want to thank is all of you guys in the troop. You guys have become a special group of friends to me, and you all have a special charm. Whenever I went camping with you guys, I always felt special with you all. Whether it was hiking, on the water, cooking, or just hanging around the campsite playing cards or even just chatting and having fun, you all have made camping a good social experience. Outside of camping, you all maintain the same charm and provide help when I need it. In meetings or events, you make them very fun and us being all together, we make a great team. As I turn 18 next week, I will miss the scouting experience, you guys, but I am looking forward to attending some of the meetings as an adult, helping you all with your advancement. Thank you for the amazing charm you all have and the help you provided to my trials. I also really want to thank everyone who helped me with my unique and pandemic challenge Eagle Project. Thank you for all will, for willing to cooperate with Zoom meetings and social distancing in a very unique digital project. For those who do not know, a few scouts and I put together a website showcasing recovered historical archives about the history of beautiful Mount Lemon. Without the help of some scouts and leaders, many of these artifacts would have been lost to time, but the digitizing efforts have made this website a permanent location for everyone to learn about the several historical events of the mountain, including the significance of the deadly fires and how they shaped the future of the mountain. For example, did you all know there was a big lodge up there? I did not find that out until I was pointed out in historical archives someone gave me, which are now on the website. Without everyone's help and coordination with the meetings, this project would have not turned out the way it did and I cannot thank you guys enough for being there to help in the most difficult step to becoming an Eagle Scout. I want to thank you all. Yes, you all. You all being a friend, family member, fellow Scout, senior leader, or mentor have been a good support for me throughout what I do and you all boost my confidence greatly, and I appreciate that. I am extremely honored to have earned the rank of Eagle Scout last year. The Council Advancement Chairs who reviewed my application and project on June 9th, 2021 stated, do you know what June, 29th, June 9th, 2021 is? Well, now you should, because that is the date you became an Eagle Scout. <laughs> my heart felt really warm when I said that, and that couldn't be more true. I remember all of my feelings as I received this legendary honor. I am honored to have earned this status of high effort and to have joined the continually growing and large Eagle's Nest for our troop. And to all the younger Scouts out there, 
I encourage you to do your best in scouting. Put in the effort and earn that eagle. I can see the future eagles in all of you. As I leave this troop and leave my position as high command, I want you all to be the future of this troop and continue the legacy of high advancement. I have faith in all of you that you can do amazing and receive awesome things. However, the key words for that are effort and self-confidence. Believe in yourself that you're able to do these things and with enough effort, you can. Thank you all in advance for providing for the troop and being awesome for years to come. Thank you to my leaders, parents, my scouting friends, my project helpers, and everyone for being an important step in the path to Eagle. May you all continue to be awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. On behalf of 226, I once again congratulate you on your achievement. I would like to take it out. Oh, sorry. Keep attention. Yeah, I need to use Okay, you have to salute those not in your hands over your heart. Right. Okay. Congratulations, everybody. On behalf of the National Court of Honor of the Boy Scouts of America, I hereby declare this Court of Honor closed. Dinner will be served shortly.